Hi everyone, I'm Apollonia Ponti, the founder of ApolloniaPonti.com, your dating and relationship coach, and welcome to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I have a really hot topic for you. This video is about, I like him, but he has a girlfriend. Yes, really hot topic. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to this amazing YouTube channel where I give you up-to-date dating advice and relationship advice. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified every Tuesdays and Thursdays when I do post a new video. Now let's begin. I want to be clear about something here um, on this topic. It's about, I like him, but he has a girlfriend. Now, women that like a man that has a girlfriend do not need to be judged. And I just want to start this video off by saying this, is this video is not meant to judge you. This video is not meant to talk down to you, but it's meant to give you the best quality advice for you and only you. Now, I want to, before I go into the tips about why you might like this man that has a girlfriend and what to do, I want to be clear about one thing. I want you to sit down with yourself and really figure out why you are attracted to this man. A lot of times when clients come to me, they are attracted to this man because he uh, has a great sense of humor, he might be very handsome, um, and he might be giving you signals that he likes you too, right? Well, if a man is giving you signals that he likes you too, but he has a girlfriend, this is completely unstable. This is unstable and you deserve something better than that. If this is a man that you have in your life right now that is giving you signals that he likes you too, I want to tell you one thing that you should do. What you should do is tell this man that you're open to speaking to him and maybe you're open to dating him in the future, but you want him to take care of himself first as you have respect for you. And if you guys were to eventually venture out into a relationship, you have respect for that future relationship and that person that he's with. So he has to take care of what he has to take care of and figure out what he wants with the relationship that he's already in. And then once he figures that out, and if he let's go of that relationship is when he can contact you. Because when you do something like this, you're holding yourself of value and you're being present in the moment and you demand the respect that you truly deserve. Now let's go into the tips on what you can do from here if you like him and he already has a girlfriend. Number one, stay off of his social media accounts. Don't like every picture, don't comment on every picture because at the end of the day, the girlfriend and the person that he's with is going to see this and can cause drama. And you don't want to be that woman that is the quote unquote homewrecker, right? So don't do this. Do not influence the relationship. Do not influence drama in his life, your life, or the other partner's life. Just let it be and don't even look at his social media accounts. Tip number two, respect that he's unavailable and you should move on. Right now, the fact that he's unavailable is not something that you want to focus on because of the fact that you need to focus on yourself at this point. You need to back off because he's already in this relationship. And if he is giving you signs that he likes you too, you need to have that open conversation that I discussed in the beginning of this video. Tip number three, don't put yourself in a place where you can get hurt. Meaning don't continue a relationship with man, this man as the other woman, because what's going to happen is you can continue to get hurt because as a relationship continues to fester, then you are going to develop physical or emotional feelings for him. And he's not going to be able to give you exactly the same because there's also another person in this relationship. So remember that you're not going to get that quality of a relationship that you truly deserve. And then it's going to lead into a toxic relationship, even if he breaks up with that other woman. This is a barrier that I don't want you to have to cross. That's why it's so important to set the standard that you need him to figure it out. And when he does, and he's not in that relationship, he can then come to you because then you're putting yourself up here and he knows that he has to work for it and show up. And if he doesn't, there's somebody else better that will come along. Next tip is don't be the jealous type. 
Don't talk from a place of insecurity. Don't get him to like you or to choose you just because you might be better or you're showing up to show him that you are better than this other woman where you're flaunting yourself. You're texting him, telling him what you can offer him. You're showing up and going above and beyond to show up at the places so he can see you. Don't go above and beyond for this man. Now, before I end this video, I just wanna remind you that when you tell a man that has a girlfriend that he needs to figure it out first and then come to you, you're coming from a place of self-worth and you're coming from a place of where you're showing your self-worth and putting yourself first in a place of high self-esteem. No woman and no man deserves to be the second pick. Now this is why I wanted to make this video. It's because at the end of the day, if a man really wants to be with you, he will make it happen. And I'm not here to say that you can't find the love of your life that is not having a girlfriend right now, but you have to make sure that he does it in the right ways. And also, let's be real here. Maybe that's not the situation. And maybe you have what I see so much women have this particular type and they go in on what their type of man is. And that's all they do. They have, they see this through a micro lens and that's all they pay attention to those men, those men that are tall, those men that are good looking, those men that have a lot of money or whatever it is. And then the man that actually has qualities like faithful, honest, great communicator, stable, loyal. They put them all aside and they're only having the man through the micro lens and they're only seeing those men. So if that's you, I want you to be cautious of this because there are available men out there and you're probably just not seeing that because you're focused on that man that has a girlfriend. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. I know it's a difficult topic to hear, but I want to be completely honest with you. And I'm not a coach to give you great advice to get exactly what you want, because sometimes exactly what you want might not be the best thing for you. If you need further advice, please feel free to always reach out to me. You can comment below if you have any questions, but you can also reach out to me through a private coaching session with me. I'll put the link in the description box to schedule a private coaching session if this does something that interests you. Also, since you stay till the very end, I have something special for you. I have a seven free videos to master your dating life. So you can really refocus your attention on something better, something new, and something outstanding that you truly deserve if you find yourself in this situation. I hope to see you again. And like always, until next time, remember, you are always loved. Bye.